in the past few years, the rise in popularity of the GMT watch has been pretty sharp. A lot of people want to get a true GMT into their collection, uh, and that is actually pretty hard, especially considering the price to entry. However, there are a few affordable, real GMTs that come out of the Swatch Group that a lot of people don't know about. Now, there is the one popular one that a lot of people do know about, and that is the Mito Ocean Star GMT. I think it's a really good looking watch. It's on the larger side, 44 millimeters. However, it gets a Powermatic 80, and that Powermatic 80 is actually a true GMT. And essentially what a true GMT is, is when you actually use the GMT function, it is the local hour hand that jumps so that when you change time zones, you don't need to actually hack the movement. You could just change the time zone on your watch. And it's very practical, very functional. Um, and that's the reason why it's desirable. Now that Mito Ocean Star GMT retails for around $1,200. You can get those watches used and uh, on the gray market for around $900. Not a huge discount on them currently. And that's because, like I said, they are very popular. I think the only thing holding them back is the size, that 44 millimeters. However, today I have a pretty cool watch to show you and I have a few other watches that I wanna talk about that I think are really awesome from the Swatch Group that are true GMTs that all use that Powermatic 80 GMT movement. In my hand, I have a Certina DS Action GMT. As I mentioned, this is powered by a Powermatic 80 GMT movement. You could actually see that movement from the back. And it's really not a bad looking movement to look at. However, it's nothing too spectacular. Uh, and that's not really the thing that you're buying this watch for. It is a 200 meter watch. So you can actually use this swimming. You get a screwed in crown. Uh, however, it is a true GMT. You have a Coke setup on here. The bezel is actually a non-rotating bezel. It's inside of the dial. So under the sapphire crystal. Uh, and it is in black and red. The dial is in black you get red hands on here as well. So it looks a little bit like a Rolex sort of GMT Master Coke version. I guess that's kind of what they were going for. And you could see it is very easy to change the GMT, uh, the time zone that you are in. Very, very functional watch. Um, all stainless steel comes on the bracelet and they charge only $1,100 for this. If you don't want it on the bracelet, you could actually save uh, about $100. I think these come in at around $950 on a NATO strap. And that is an excellent, excellent value new. It's even better used and on the gray market. I paid $599 for this watch on the gray market on this bracelet. And it's a very nice bracelet, a very significant watch. It is 43 millimeters, so it's not small. Uh, however, it wears really nicely. I'll throw it on my wrist towards the end so you guys can see what I'm talking about. The next watch that I wanna to talk to you about on this list is a Tissot, and it is a very affordable Tissot. It is a true GMT powered by the Powermatic 80 GMT movement. It is called the Chem de Torel. And that is essentially the street that was the name of where Tissot started their first factory. So that's where they get the name from it. Uh, it's not the best name on earth. However, it is a very good looking watch and it's one of the smaller watches on this list. It comes in at 42 millimeters. They make it with a silver dial, a blue dial, and you can get it for around $450, actually less than $450 depending on where you look. It's a 50 meter water resistant watch. So this is more of a dress watch, but it comes on a bracelet. You get a sapphire crystal and they're good looking. They're actually very good looking. You get sort of a hobnail pattern on the outside of the dial. So there's a ring that goes around the outside of the dial. On the inside is a sunburst pattern that is sort of brushed. Looks really good and is very, well priced. Now, originally, I think these were priced around $900 to $1,000. They actually no longer sell these on the Tissot website. So if you want one, you do have to go to the gray market for one reason or another. They no longer offer it through Tissot. Hopefully, they come out with another Powermatic 80 version uh, watch that is a GMT. We'll see what happens in the future. But 
These are available on Amazon and they are available for under $450. So last on the list, I want to talk about Hamilton. Now, basically every affordable brand that is owned by Swatch is offering an affordable version of a true Traveler's GMT and Hamilton is really kind of the most expensive out of the brands that I've just named. However, they aren't out of the ballpark. They're still coming in at under $1,500. It is the Hamilton Khaki Aviation Converter Auto GMT. This is large. It's 44 millimeters. I'm not sure, again, why Hamilton, why Swatch, why all of these brands insist on making these watches larger than they need to be. I think they would actually sell more watches if they fit more wrists. Uh, and hopefully they are listening and they make these changes in the future. However, as I mentioned, this is powered by a Powermatic 80 GMT movement. It's 100 meters of water resistance and it does get a converter on it. It's an aviation converter bezel. Really good looking watch with a ceramic bezel, sapphire crystal. Uh, you cannot see the movement from the back. I think the only two watches on this list you can see the movements from the back is the Tissot and the Certina. The Mito and the Hamilton have closed case backs. Uh, all of these watches are available on bracelets, so I've given you the prices as they are available on bracelets. That's where I gave you the price. All of them are also available on straps, and you can minus a few hundred dollars from the price for those on a strap. Really awesome watches from the Swatch Group, and they're all true GMTs. Now, I wish they were a little bit smaller. I did buy this Certina. Uh, I think I paid around $599, which I think is a really good price. It was essentially new gray market. It was like an open box version, I guess. Um, and for $599, it is a lot of watch. But even at that $950 or $1,100 price, when you're buying it brand new, I think you're still getting an excellent value um, and a very well-made watch as well. It is 43 millimeters, but it doesn't wear very large. I'll show it to you on my wrist really quickly. Today I have Charlie Paris on. This is a watch that I just recently reviewed on my channel. I will put a link to that review above if you are interested. It's a pretty cool watch that uh, a lot of explorers and adventurers have worn. It's basically an unknown watch as well, which is kind of weird, uh, but it is powered by an STP 111, which is nice. But here is the DS Action GMT on my hand, uh, on my wrist, and you can see it does wear large. It is a 43 millimeter watch. I have a seven and a half inch wrist. Um, it's on the thicker side. The uh, lug to lug isn't exactly small. I'll do a quick measurement for you guys in just a second, but it is a very good looking watch if you are in the market for something that's very affordable and a true GMT. There are a lot of GMTs out there that are not true GMTs, and if you want that functionality, it is really hard to come by. So the lug to lug on here is just around 51 millimeters, 52 at the bracelet. You get a very large crown on here, which Swatch have been doing lately. They've been doing that pretty well, so 7.2 millimeters. And then the thickness, because you do get two sapphire crystals and 200 meters of water resistance, uh, 12.7 millimeters thick. You also get pretty decent loom on here. Uh, I'll be doing a full review of this watch pretty soon uh, and sort of a unboxing slash full review and we'll do loom in that video as well. Uh, screwed in crown and screwed in case back to complete the package. Anyway, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I know a lot of people are really sort of uh, excited about true GMTs, but I have to say at the same time, I don't mind a nice office GMT. This is an office GMT. It's an Eterna. I think I paid around seven or seven hundred dollars for this watch. I think um, it has an in-house movement. It is an office GMT, as you can see. That's the GMT hand right there. That's a small seconds. Uh, it is the GMT hand that moves, not that local hour hand. So it's not as good as a uh, traveler's GMT because when you're traveling, you want to just be able to move it to the new time zone, not have to hack. Uh, and that really works very well when you're traveling. Uh, I just wanted to show you this watch as well, just so you could understand what I'm talking about between the difference between an office GMT and a true GMT. 
Anyway, we'll wrap up the video here. I hope you found this uh, interesting or useful. If you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Uh, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog, all one word. Um, and that's really it. I appreciate you guys logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.